Hey guys, um, Andrew's made me do a little bit of a training presentation for you from the new barbecue. So we're going to have a crack at talking about our USPs. Carol, give me a call if you forget what USPs are again. <laughs> um, okay, so new lineup: four burner and six burner coming in. The six burners behind us. We'll show you in a minute. The major things we probably want to talk about are first the main specs. So three or four grade stainless steel. Now. All 300 series grade ferro steel doesn't necessarily have to be magnetic. You know, we always do that magnet test. That's a bit of an urban myth. Um, there's two main types of uh, ferro four way stainless steel. One of them is magnetic, one of them's not. This is, so it will work, but it doesn't necessarily mean if a magnet doesn't go into ferro four that it's not ferro four way stainless. Um, the main difference between 304 and other stainless steels is the chromium and nickel content so 80% chromium 80% nickel like our 88 uh, stainless steel sinks so and the chromium is what is used in that alloy for helping with corrosion and oxidization so stainless steel will rust over time but it, it is very resistant to oxidization and corrosion <laughs> right um, Probably the biggest thing that we can talk about on this guy is the infrared burner. So I'll go a little bit into how infrared works compared to the new burner. Um, all of our burners are 13 megajoules, so that's from the four standard burners at the, in the in the barbecue and the infrared. Which we'll put on now, and also the wok burner is 30 megajoules, so that would be nice and easy for us to translate. All 13 megajoule, but your infrared burner works in a different way. So there's two. Oh, sorry, three main ways to cook. There's con conduction, convection, sorry, convention and radian or radiation. Infrared is a form of radiation, the way it works. So conduction is, is, is our normal traditional barbecuing. So frying pan or meat on a base, so it's, the heat is actually touching the food. Then you've got convection, which uses air, convention, which uses airflow like in an oven. But with uh, infrared or radian heat, it's a little bit different. When there's, a, when there's an infrared burner with a ceramic plate like ours, so, so it's a dense ceramic plate that sits in there, it offers a 50%, roughly 50% offer of a radiant heat and then normal uh, conventional heat. So what radiant heat does is rather than directly affect the food or directly affect the hot plate, it will heat a vessel. So when we're talking about cooking in a barbecue and roasting, radiant heat is, um, is the way to go and that's what infrared offers. So we're heating the area rather than heating the food. Uh, main benefit of infrared is it is tons quicker than normal gas, uh, but it is a little bit aggressive. So big cuts of steak, roasts, yep, it's great, but you wouldn't want to be doing your fish or your vegetables with a radiant heat because that, those things can heat up quite quickly. If, if this was a concealed vessel, it's not. There's quite a bit of ventilation at the back, which is good for barbecue. But if this was a sealed unit, this thing would, would hike up to 700 degrees. Um, within about 10 minutes, but we've got ventilation at the back to give it a softer heat. But main difference, infrared, quicker to use, um, promotes more heat, and our form of infrared is with a ceramic tile, so it's not 100% infrared or radiant, it's about 50%. So we spoke about our burners, uh, four burners, all 30 megajoule, uh, reinforced cast iron trivets. I'm assuming that these will come with accessories to buy as well, no? We oh, yes, we will yeah. have them, yeah. Okay, so... Um, but that's the standard setup it's going to come with. LED lighting inside and across our controls, which is quite nice and fancy. Our rotisserie comes with all models as standard um, as with the side burner. Inside, the customer's going to get a weatherproof cover. Uh, we can just about see the drip tray underneath. The drip, drip tray is accessible from the rear. Um, but you can get to it. It covers the whole 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 surface area. It works like a sink. The little drip tray comes out. Uh, what else can we talk about? We've got our new models all coming with a window in the hood and a temperature gauge. Okay, so you're going to be able to use these things a lot better for roasting big cuts of meat. Um, and again, that's where that infrared is going to come into play. The likelihood is if you're going to be roasting, what you want to translate to your staff is that a mixture of ra uh, radian or infrared plus your burners is going to be the way to cook. It's something that they'll get used to. Um, just radian or just the burners um, isn't the way to go. But flexibility, quick heat up, all the rest of it. Um, oh, let's go around to the six burner. This one's not hooked up, but 
pretty much the same setup. Oh, by the way, your four burner is 1180 in width. The, this guy is 1400. Uh, your depth is the same on both, which is 645. And a height, I'll come back to you on the height because I've forgotten it. But height and depth, same on both models. 1400 for the six burner, 1180 for the four burner. Okay, again, six burners, all 30 megajoule. Got your infrared again, rotisserie. Um, same setup, side burner. And your LED lighting. Okay. Is there anything else we want to cover off? All good. Is that all? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.